the unlock and lock of CDX pin. All right, this is a CDX pin mounted to what we will call our door today. You can see that it's been properly mounted. As we engage the lock to start the unlock process of the CDX pen, this specific lock is set for the standard combo that all CDX pens are set for upon purchase or receipt of a new lock. That combo is 502550. All CDX pens have an internal battery that are charged by turning the dial. You can see the numbers on top. The first way you're going to be turning this lock dial is to the left, and we're going to stop at 50. If you pass it, as I have, you keep going back around. If you turn back to the right, it will recognize it as part of the code, and you'll get an error later on, which I'll show you. So right now, we're going to turn it to 50. As we get close to the number, I slow down. I take a pause and then start turning it to the right. Again, if you pass the number, just keep going around. As you get close to the number, slow down. Landing on 25, pause, go to the left. you hit the final 50, turn to the right, you'll get an OP for open. The dial will stop turning once the lock is uh, disengaged in the back and you'll hear the gears. That is part of the CDX10 model. You will hear the gears turn. It does not mean that it's engaged the lock back to locking. It means that it has opened the lock up for you. Now that we have properly unlocked the CDX10, we shall now engage the lock or lock up the door or the safe, whatever the CDX pen is attached to. To do that, all you're going to do is turn it to the left. The manual will tell you to turn it to the left at least four times to ensure the lock is properly engaged. We have done more than that, but one of the reasons we have done that is because I want to show you what happens when you put the wrong combo in. So we'll turn it to the left, turn it to the right, turn it to the left again, turn it to the right. You get a lightning bolt right there in the top left. That lets you know that you have put the wrong combo in and then you also have an arrow. It's telling you to go back to the left to start the combo over again. If you have improperly put in the wrong combo more than 10 times, it will start to require you constantly engage the lock and keep it powered a minute at a time. If you have reached four or five times of improperly putting in the wrong combo, I recommend talking to your security officer or the person who is in charge of the locking system itself to make sure that there isn't any other faults with the lock.